Hey, how's it going guys? It's Mac from Cryptstar. Today I want to show you guys my plans to go ahead and, you know, make the most out of the bear market if it ends up coming. If we end up going into sort of a recession, if the Fed hikes their rates, then I will be ready to go ahead and take full advantage of this in the future. One of the safest ways to do this is to go ahead and stake on Anchor Protocol. You can stake your UST. A lot of people know about this. However, in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you guys how to move your UST from here and earn 60% on the new Osmosis pool. And if you didn't know, Osmosis is a blockchain that's built on the Cosmos protocol, the blockchain of blockchains, right? It connects all the blockchains together. And Terra or Luna has actually recently connected itself using the IBC, the inner blockchain protocol to go ahead and connect to the Cosmos system. And now you easily and cheaply send a UST from the Terra station to Osmosis. For this tutorial, you're basically going to need a Terra station wallet, which is this one right here. And you need to go ahead and install that plugin. And you're also going to need to install the Kepler wallet, which is the one of the main Cosmos wallets. My recommendation, just use both of those wallets. Make sure you use the same mnemonic key for both of them. And I'm kind of assuming that you've deposited UST into your Terra Station wallet and you're staking here or you want to go ahead and move the UST from here to Cosmos so you can earn the IR or APR which currently you can't withdraw UST from the exchanges straight to Osmosis so you'd have to use this interchain bridge and luckily it's one of the cheapest interchain bridges I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what the pool looks like on Osmosis. You go over to pools as you can see here type in UST, you can see Luna UST pool is very high. And for me, why I'm choosing this pool is because in the past, Luna has tended to do very well in a bear market because as people need UST to go ahead and sort of buy more crypto, they actually need to buy Luna in order to get UST. Or I think Wrapped Ethereum is also another option, but I think Luna is the main one. I don't know, just doing a little bit of research, I feel like this is a very, very good way to take to leverage the bear market in your favor. So this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm going to do personally. Let's go ahead and head over to Anchor. You can see I withdrew already my savings account. Now I'm going to use the cross chain bridge. Now to use this bridge, you're going to need at least a little bit of Luna in your wallet. So make sure you, you go ahead and trade using Trade for some Luna. I think you can trade using it just right inside the Terra wallet. Pretty sure you can. So yeah, you can swap Luna for UST in the wallet here and get yourself a little bit of Luna so you can pay for the transaction fee for the cross-chain swap. Let's go over here to assets. And in order to go ahead and sw swap over from Luna, Terra, to Osmosis, you're going to go ahead and go to UST, deposit, press. Let's do everything, all of it, okay? I'm going to deposit all of it. And you can see I have enough Luna. It's only cost 0.1 dollars, about 10 cents to go ahead and do this. It's a very cheap cross-chain tr transfer. Really hope that Tezos can get this uh, IBC uh, sort of integrated very soon. As we all know, I'm a Tezos fan, but I really want them to sort of get the IBC integrated ASAP after Tinderbig, I guess, hopefully. Anyways, so it looks like that happened really fast. Going from the uh, Terra to Luna seems to be very fast. When you withdraw back to Terra, it took about three to four minutes. So just bear in mind, it's not going to show up in your Terra wallet, this Terra wallet very fast. It took mine about five minutes. Okay. So when you withdraw, just, just keep, keep that in mind. Um, for Osmosis, you actually don't need any Osmos for the gas. And I actually needed to kind of do some more research to figure out what the Osmo token itself does, uh, what the point of it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and swap UST for Luna. And 50%. And, and you, like I said, it doesn't, I don't think you need any Osmo in your, in your wallet. So let's go ahead and swap here. It says the fee is zero. And if you want to go to a high fee, it requires Osmo, right? But I'm just going to go for the zero fee, 50% UST Luna. And it only takes a couple seconds because Tendermint is super fast. Okay, great. So now let's head over to pools. Do that search for UST again. Actually, Luna might be faster. Luna UST is right in front of me. To do this, you just go up to here, head over to at remove liquidity. Blech. Hit max on, I will go ahead and max on the top one, Luna, because you need it to match perfectly, right? So this looks like it's the least one is the Luna. So 43067, and then that equals 2.22. So I'll still have 0 0.01 uh, UST left over. Let's just do an add the liquidity, approve. Okay. Looks like the transaction was successful. So all you have to do from there is go ahead and press start earning. And let's go ahead and bond for 60 days. Hit max on this little bad boy. Woohoo! Okay, bond. 
and you can see the cost is zero again. So there you go. So 14 days. So I think there might be a fee unbonding. No, there's no fee for unbonding, it looks like, but I don't think you can get your rewards if you unbond too fast. And actually, that's it for today's tutorial. It's very simple. You just unbond after sort of uh, 14 days. Looks like that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys sort of learn another way to take advantage of the bear market. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.